It is that time of year again. Think 2023 is here, and I'm gonna be covering the big announcement coming out of the event, Watson X and its three main components, all on this episode of IBM Tech Now. What's up, y'all? My name is Ian, and I am back to bring you the latest and greatest news and announcements about IBM technology. If you checked out any of the keynote addresses from this year's IBM Think event, you've already heard about the exciting introduction of Watson X. For decades, IBM has been at the forefront of breakthroughs in AI, and we know that AI is already driving results for business. We also believe it is time to place the power of AI in the hands of all kinds of AI builders, from data scientists to developers to everyday users who have never written a single line of code. Watson X is IBM's next generation AI platform, and it's designed to do just that. It provides self-service access to high quality, trustworthy data. This enables users to collaborate on a single platform where they can build and refine both new generative AI foundation models and traditional machine learning systems. Watson X helps facilitate the entire data and AI lifecycle, from data preparation to model development, deployment, and monitoring. And we believe it has the potential to scale and accelerate the impact of the most advanced AI on every enterprise. Watson X has three components, and I want to dive a bit deeper into each one. First is WatsonX.ai, an AI studio designed for the business of today and tomorrow. WatsonX.ai combines the capabilities of IBM Watson Studio to build, run, and deploy AI-based machine learning with the latest generative AI capabilities that leverage the power of foundation models. As AI becomes more pervasive, businesses need to feel confident in their models. WatsonX.ai provides that essential level of trust and gives users access to high-quality, pre-trained, and proprietary IBM foundation models for enterprise. Additionally, for AI to be truly transformative, as many people as possible should have access to its benefits. We made sure that WatsonX.ai is not just for data scientists and developers. Business users can also access it via an easy-to-use interface that responds to natural language prompts for different tasks. The second component is WatsonX.data which allows businesses to quickly connect to data, get trusted insights, and reduce data warehouse costs. It's a data store built on an open lakehouse architecture, and it runs both on-premises and across multi-cloud environments. Optimized for all data analytics and AI workloads, WatsonX.data combines the flexibility of a data lake with the performance of a data warehouse, helping businesses to scale data analytics and AI anywhere their data resides. Users can access data through a single point of entry with a shared metadata layer across clouds and on-prem environments. WatsonX.data even comes with built-in governance, security, and automation. The third and final component is WatsonX.governance. Simply put, the more AI is embedded into daily workflows, the more you need proactive governance. WatsonX.governance can help build the necessary guardrails around AI tools and the uses of AI. It's an automated data and model lifecycle solution for creating policies, assigning decision rights, and ensuring organizational accountability for risk and investment decisions. By providing the mechanisms to help secure and protect customer privacy and proactively detect model bias and drift, WatsonX.governance helps organizations meet ethics standards, proactively manage risk and reputation, and comply with regulatory requirements. To sum things up, IBM has designed Watson X to adhere to the core principles of trust while being as accessible as possible. A future where trustworthy AI delivers boost to productivity and enhances innovation is not only possible, it's already here. Let's put AI to work and make the world work better. To learn more about Watson X and its components, hit the links in the description of this video. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of IBM Tech Now. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've covered, make sure you explore the links in the description of this video. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in tech now.